Okay, now we're going to leave this uh, as income because that's the one we were most interested in as we place our restaurant or, or look at the, the, the competition for our restaurant in West Kentucky. Uh, and so now we're going to move on to the tools that you're required to use and the tasks you're required to perform uh, as part of this consumer GIS project. Uh, and to do that, we need to, to place on the map uh, a picture, a geotag picture of a restaurant that we are, are whose service area we're trying to, to study, and then also uh, perform a search of the other restaurants that are in the immediate vicinity uh, of that restaurant. To install the add-ins, click the logo in the upper left, then click Resource Center. To open the web page in which the resources are housed, click Resources Gateway, then ArcGIS Explorer, then Data, and finally ArcGIS Explorer Labs. This loads the add-ins that are available and gives you the chance to install the ones that you're interested in. We're going to do two. The first of those toward the bottom is the Bing Yellow Pages search. So click that, read the description, and then click Open in ArcGIS to install this one into the system. You're warned about the potential impact and ask if you want to do it. Click yes to that. And then that add-in is added to the to ArcGIS Explorer and if you click the add-in buttons you can see it there. Okay, now go back to the website. To repeat this process, for a second add-in, and this is the geotag, add geotag images add-in as well. Let's find that one. Add geotag image here. We repeat the process. Click open in ArcGIS. Open. We get the same warning. We say yes to that. That window closes. And now if we go to add-ins, we have add geotagged images here as well. So let's take a look at that one. Double-click that add-in. Go to the folder where you loaded or downloaded from your to your system. The BBBBQ JPEG picture of Billy Bob's Burgoo and Bistro. That image has been geotagged, as were all the images that we used in Picasa when we did Murray State. Uh, you can see that it moves to a location uh, in, the, in the map where the, the, the restaurant is located. Uh, and this is kind of an odd feature, but just kind of work with it a little bit. Uh, it actually, the, the, the image is not displayed at this level of resolution of the map at this scale. But if you move back out a little bit, you can see it. Okay, now it's always there. It's just that because of the scale dependency established for this layer, you won't always be able to see it when you zoom in. But if you click on it, you can see that here, in fact, is the same picture of Billy Bob's Barbecue that we've been working with all along. So we now know where that is on the map and have some idea where it's located in West Kentucky. Uh, and notice that as we move into the map, we, we move beyond the demographic layers uh, and start to see some of the underlying imagery uh, inside that area. So let's zoom back in. Notice that it just how it's disappeared. Uh, let's focus on the center of it. And now let's go to Bing and the Bing Yellow Pages search. Uh, it gives us the type of business or category we want to look for. Let's look for restaurants and hit the search key. And now we have the 25 restaurants that are closest to it within about a 10-mile range of Billy Bob's Burgoo. And so if we want to see who our competitors are, we can click on them. Uh, that will zoom us specifically to that competitor. Uh, and we can see where they're located. As we move over them, we see the name of each one as it's selected. And if we go back out, zoom back out, we 
can see that we can also click on the nearest loop and get the information available on them, including a trip to their website. Okay, so now we have a, a map which we can use to demonstrate some of the demographic characteristics of the market area that we're concerned with. We can locate, uh, in this case, a restaurant on, on the map by using a geotag picture, and we can identify its major competitors within about a 10-mile radius, who they are, and even find out some information about them from their website. Uh, so we've completed the tasks that we need to do for this portion of the Consumer GIS exercise. The last remaining thing is to save this map file as an ArcGIS Explorer map. Uh, we will call it an, an, an BBBQ Bistro map and save that. And then that is the file that you will send to me as an email attachment that is a submission requirement for this task within the Consumer GIS project. And that concludes this video exercise.